Sean Sewell with ingamer.com coming at you from the mountains of Colorado with yet another sunglass review. Yes, Bajo Stiltsville sunglasses. These guys right here. We've worked with Bajo on, I believe, four or five other reviews and we really like them. Uh, they're very much similar category for fishermen and fishwomen, such as Costa, up at that level of quality. So in this review, I'll go over the fit, features, and functions on this brand new offering. So let's get into it. For reference, I'm usually a medium in hats and uh, in helmets and such. However, I prefer a large to extra large coverage. These are extra large coverage, you can tell. They're almost too big for me. <laughs> they have an eight base curve, which is awesome. So they're not just, you know, flat and, you know, for casualties. These are fishing sunglasses, right? So you can see the eight base curve and the lens you're looking at is the glass lens and it is the silvered mirror. Even though with right now, it probably doesn't look very mirror because the sunlight is right behind me. It's 9 a.m. So you're getting a little bit of backlighting, but they are, they're mirrored. And what that is going to do, it's going to provide a really, in my opinion, very accurate color rendition while boosting a bit of contrast and, of course, taking out the bad blue light that Bajo does so well with their lens technology. So it's just a, it's a very pleasant experience. It's a very accurate optics um, and very durable. I, I don't suggest this, but I've done this. Not only have I dropped the sunglasses on rocks, which usually would go pretty bad, I have crushed the sunglasses and my forerunner tailgate. I forget they're there because they're dark. Smack the tailgate. And my heart drops as I hear that crunch sound. And I open the trunk and they're good to go. I don't suggest you try that. But I have miraculously gotten away with that four or five times now. Knock on wood. So, back to the sunglasses. These are a substantial sunglass. They're not ultra lightweight. Um, they're not, if you want lighter weight, I'd recommend going with the poly lens. Polycarbonate's going to be lighter than glass. But if you want optics and you want clarity, glass is where it's at. I know it costs a little bit more, but I think it's definitely worth it. Also, the scratch resistance, damn near scratch proof with glass. So something to consider about the, the difference in price. I believe uh, 260 compared to 210 for the glass to polycarbonate. But I'll give you a closer gander so you can see what's going on here. These are definitely a performance sunglass. You can use retention system right here. They got a little tackiness on the temple, so it'll stick to your face when you're getting sweaty. Same with the nose nice and tacky so when you're sweating or wet they will stick to your face better let me see if i can get the optics for you so you can see yeah, it's kind of hard to do through a camera but hopefully you're seeing it's a very accurate you know gray kind of based with a little bit of contrast boosting with the silver mirror lens plus it looks pretty sharp of course this is good for fishermen and fisherwomen but however how else i've been using it is you know, for casual use, I kind of like the basic, almost Wayfair with extra large lens look. However, um, for doing things outside or, or even driving, I drive my windows down all the time. My wife hates that. I love it. Or if I'm biking to work, anytime I'm just encountering wind and potential debris, I like to have side protection. I really like to have the wrap coverage. And also when I'm doing activities, I'd like to have more covered area so it's not in the way peripheral view. So I can definitely can look out that direction to see the mountain right there without it being blocked by plastic, but also protected, say, very often, like last night, a storm kicks in and stuff is flying left and right, and there's dirt flying and tumbleweeds and uh, just stuff you don't want in your eye. Uh, this last, last weekend, we're up camping with some family and friends, and I was just relying on some other sunglasses from a different company that were not wrap, and uh, sure enough, storm kicks up, and I got something in my left eye, and it took quite a bit of flushing to get it up. So if you're looking for performance, I recommend wrap. If you're looking for aesthetics, your, your preference on that. There's different lenses available for this. You can, of course, get the polycarbonate version or the glass version. Uh, I'd recommend the glass, of course. If you're already spending 210 bucks, spend $50 more, whatever it is, the difference, and get the glass, unless you're trying to save weight. In that case, I would do respect that. Or if you're doing a very high impact activity, you don't want to take the chance of the glass potentially shattering. Not that I've ever seen that happen. But then again, I, I would respect your decision to go with polycarbonate. Um, one other thing too, that I didn't touch on with other Bajo reviews I should have, is their dedication to the environment. Uh, very eco-friendly, uh, carbon neutral company. The case, I assume was leather, it's cactus leather. I didn't know you could do that. This is full on sustainable cactus leather. It says right there. How cool is that? It's really, 
ingenious. On the inside, you get probably the nicest case I've ever seen for a pair of sunglasses. It's very well thought out. It's very classy. Look at that. You get a little nose bridge. You get a cloth, of course, to keep the shades clean. Um, you can check them out. Abajo sunglasses, independently owned. Um, they're assembled in Florida, so made in the USA. That's saying quite a bit. I know it's gonna, that's going to attract a lot of people to them as well. Great fishing sunglasses. Um, they sent over, like I said, I believe four pairs of sunglasses for us to test out so far. Two of them I gave to one of my fishing buddies, Damien, Damien Marley. Uh, Rastafarian, he lives in the British Virgin Islands. He's a legit fisherman. And he actually, one thing that uh, people in the Caribbean or people close to the equator in general encounter is uh, eye issues because there's so much sun all the time. So proper sunglasses are crucial. So, um, you know, he sends them down to his colleagues as well in the Caribbean and try and keep their eyes nice and safe while they're fishing and put food on the table for their families. So, long story longer, Bajio, huge fan. They make great stuff. Cactus leather, <laughs> how cool is that? Sustainable, planted mangroves, look them up. They're doing cool stuff. Like your money goes far with them and you call them for customer service, which we have before. Um, a human answers and walks you through the process and helps you, like it's not outsourced. They're made in America. That's pretty sweet, pretty sweet. All right, I'll quit rambling. As you can tell, I'm a big fan of them. But one last gander at these eight base curve silver mirror lenses. It's good stuff. Good stuff. These are my number two sunglasses. I keep them in the truck at all times. So my driving sunglasses. Um, they're attractive. Uh, the only time I don't wear them is on date night with my wife. And then I go to the classic, you know, Wayfair style sunglasses, which they also make. So check those out. All right. I'm Sean Sewell. Hopefully you found yourself well. You did. Thumbs up is appreciated. If you want to start a little conversation. I know Wadsworth, when I'm talking to you, you love sunglasses get that ball rolling and start talking about lenses and technology put that in the comments below i'll put a link below as well if you want to pick them up if you want to see more content on more sunglasses consider subscribing to our engagement youtube channel link below i'm sean sewell owner and director of stoke and until next time take care